delicious. Welcome to the Mackie Maker Space. Hi, I'm Brother Bob Mackey. I'm the curator of meteorites at the Vatican Observatory. And today I've got another pop culture mashup for you. This time, all about the rings of power. That's right, I'm going to mash up the one ring from the Lord of the Rings with the ten rings from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So let's get started. First things first, let's design the rings using Tinkercad. Hashtag not sponsored. So for the design, I based the overall size and shape on the ten rings, but I chose to decorate it with the text from the one ring. It's written with an alpha script, but the language is the black speech of Mordor. It reads, Ashnaz Dubatuluk, Ashnaz Gimbatul, Ashnaz Krakatuluk, Agburzumi Shikrim Batul. Excuse me. Anyway, in English it reads, One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. You may ask why I didn't modify the text to read ten rings instead of one ring. I actually thought about it, but Tolkien only wrote enough of the language of Mordor to make the inscription and no more. For the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, they expanded the language a little bit, but even that only includes words for 1, 3, 7, and 9, but not 10. So unless I wanted to make up a few words of my own, it really wasn't worth it. Besides, it would have meant creating a fresh design for the text instead of using ones that already existed, and that sounds like work. So anyway, what I'm doing now is creating an inner and an outer wall for the ring. And I have some clever plans for this linear strip here. I'm going to embed the text of the one ring inside it, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that later. As usual, it's off to the printer. Most pieces get printed normally, but I'm going to try a new technique here on one of the pieces, and you'll see why later. These strips are being printed in thin layers, first with a clear plastic that lets light through, and then it pauses and I change to a black plastic. Now I deposit a few more layers in this black plastic. See how the light can pass through? Nice. Now for some sanding and painting. You've seen all this before, so let's take this time to talk about the rings in the films. Both the One Ring and the Ten Rings are rings of power, but in different ways, and both confer extended life or immortality on their wielder. The One Ring is imbued with the power of Sauron, which is an evil, twisted power. In Tolkien's treatment, this power is a nearly irresistible temptation, and the ring actively attempts to corrupt the souls of anyone who comes in contact with it. Those most resistant to the lure of the ring's power are those who have no power themselves nor desire to wield power. The lowly, humble hobbits are more able to resist the ring than the greatest elves and men of Middle-earth. Sauron, who loves power himself, could never understand the threat that the powerless posed to his plans. The Ten Rings are different, but bear some similarities. In the comics, as I understand it, there were actual rings worn on the fingers rather than bracelets like they are in the movies. 
and they were constructed by a race of dragons to power their spaceships. Now, I don't know if the Marvel Cinematic Universe will use the same premise. Given the themes of the current phase of MCU films, I expect that they'll have some important connection instead with the multiverse. But anyway, the rings are not actively corrupting in and of themselves, but since they are powerful artifacts, their power may still corrupt those who covet power, such as Wen Wu, the Mandarin, who uses them to build his empire. He temporarily finds something more valuable than power in the love of Ying Li and the raising of a family. The power of the rings are incompatible with this love, so he puts them away. That is, until his wife is killed, at which time he turns once again to the rings and the power that they offer. Shang-Chi cannot defeat the rings by direct force. He tries several times and fails. Only when he bends to let the power flow around him does he become their master. And in doing so, he wields them in a way that Wen Wu never could. In this world, it is often tempting to oppose an evil power with more power. But sometimes, in order to escape cycles of corruption, we must find another way. So anyway, let's get back to the build here. The flat sheets with the text on them are going to be bent around a ring printed from clear plastic. The smooth, clear layers are on the outside. A bit of heat from a heat gun will help form them in the new shape, and I'll clamp them until the glue dries. Now some putty to fill in the gaps. I'm trying to be careful not to cover any of the letters. More sanding! Yay! I'll use this template to cut some rings out of aluminum foil. Oil will block any light from passing through the thin walls of the rings, which would ruin the effect. It will also help concentrate the light where I want it. A quick test fit. Noise. I want the rings to glow from the inside, so that means LEDs. First, I'm going to wire them up. You've seen me do this before. One difference is that the wire connects to a plug at the other end, so I can plug it into a 12 volt DC socket rather than hardwiring everything together. The LED strip gets attached to the inner part of the ring.
A dollop of hot glue will help keep the wire from coming undone. I want to adjust the LED color from plain white, so this amber gel will do the job. Now for assembly. The inner ring with the LEDs gets glued onto one of the side walls. Next goes the outer ring. I included a slot for the wire to pass through. And finally the opposite side wall. Clamp it in place and let the glue dry. Now that the glue is dry, it's time for more paint. I'm filling an airbrush with metallic gold paint. I need to support the ring at the proper angle while I paint, so I 3D printed this little stand to help me out. And as the paint goes down, the letters on the outer rim start to disappear. It's a delicate balancing act to make it thick enough to hide the letters, but thin enough to stay translucent. I don't like the bright red on the wires, so I'll paint it black. I first need to cover the rest of the paint job so I don't accidentally paint over it. And here it is. Not bad if I do say so myself. The only problem is there's just one. I need to make 10 rings. Now I could just repeat this process nine more times, but that's a lot of work and I'm feeling a bit lazy. This magic wand I made in a previous video ought to come in handy right about now. Make us some more. That's no good. Let's try this again. Hmm. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, let's try. Ring a diggy ding dong. What? No, that's that's not right. <sighs> Let's go back. Control it. Oh yeah. Now we gotta figure there's gotta be some way to figure this out. Okay. Uh but the experimos. Fiat looks. Uh, aha, okay. Try this again. Decoplo. Oh, very nice. So I'm happy with the way this turned out, especially the way the letters on the edges are hidden until they light up. It's a nice effect and I may use it again on future projects. But I'm not quite done with this project, however. I still need to build a box to hold and display these 10 rings based on the one that Wen Wu stored his rings in. But that's gonna be a problem for a future video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. It will help the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this content. 
My channel is not monetized, so it's all about sharing my interests with you all. Now, this video is not sponsored by the Vatican Observatory, but for full disclosure, I do make use of their facilities and resources. Materials and tools, however, come out of my own personal budget. The purpose of the Vatican Observatory is to be a sign to the world of the compatibility of faith and science, and it could use your support. If you would like to support the work of the Vatican Observatory, or even just to learn a bit more about it, there is a link in the description. Please check it out. So that's all that I have for you right now. There are more videos coming, so until the next one, peace.